Wolves have only won one of the last six Premier League games, but you know from the FA Cup game how tough it is. What lessons could you learn from that defeat? Quite a few, and uh, of course we have to, because if you, we turn up against a good team like they are, not performing at our level, we will get the result that we, we will deserve. Uh, last time we didn't really play well enough against them, with uh, enough tempo against them. Uh, it was a different kind of game to many, many others for us. We had the ball 70% of the time. Uh, but sometimes uh, possession doesn't uh, mean that you're going to create chances and score goals. You've got four goal scorers in double figures in the Premier League for the first time since the 95-96 season. How important going forward is that if you want to be considered title contenders in the future? Very important. I'm, I'm surprised by uh, that it's so long ago because I thought maybe me and Teddy and Coley and York had ten, uh, more than that, I think. But I think Teddy was the one that fell below. So, uh, uh, But it's, that is a good, uh, good thing to have, to have more uh, sources of goals because that gives the opposition a, a, a different challenge as well that they know goals are going, uh, could come from different angles and we still have a few more that, uh, that you can challenge and you should get to double figures really. Ollie, there's been a lot of talk about Paul Pogba over the weekend in terms of what Zidane said. So Alex Ferguson used to have a bit of a bee in his bonnet about other managers talking about players from other clubs. How do you feel about the fact that Zidane's been so public? I don't like to talk about other uh, teams' players, uh, of course, but that's, you know, that's a challenge. There's, this is another challenge with international breaks. Uh, players are uh, available all the time as well, and it's like in a... It's a different environment, it's more of a, a general talk, uh, and Paul is a very nice and polite man who who then answered a general question on any well kids who well Zidane is an icon in France of course Zidane is a fantastic manager he used to be a fantastic player I played against him myself and he's just politely answered that question uh, but Paul's happy here he's gonna be a big big part he's, I've always said it that uh, you'd like to build your team around him and uh, that hasn't changed at all. Could I ask you about the position of technical director, sporting director, however you want to look at it. Do you feel as though that is essential to the way you work at Manchester United? Because a lot of people seem to think it is quite an important role. Football has changed and the structure at uh, football clubs have changed and of course me, uh, me and Ed uh, and Joel for that matter, we've, of course we are looking to how can this club be run as smoothly and as well as possible. So um, we'll see what, uh, what the club will end up with and I'm happy uh, talking, discussing football with uh, with knowledgeable people in the right positions anyway. Is that the way that it goes anyway these days now, obviously with another, another voice, if you like, in terms of transfers and everything else, but you'd still very much be a part of anything going forward in terms of players coming in? I would think so. Uh, that, uh, you know, from the first, if it's the, from the first uh, couple of, call it managers, there used to be club secretaries back then in, when, uh, when we were founded uh, more than 100 years ago. Uh, uh, but that's just the way football goes. I think a manager can't do as much as he used to do when my gaffer started, for example. I mean, that suits a, a younger manager like you now, presumably, anyway. I'm happy to say I'm young. I'm feeling older and older. 40, 46 is quite a, a good number. <laughs> uh, I think uh, the demands of football nowadays means that you've got to uh, split uh, responsibilities, definitely. Yeah. Uh, you're still in the race to win the Champions League this season and fighting for a top four in the Premier League. In general, how important is it for the club to be in the Champions League and um, whether or not you get the spot next season, do you think that will have any effect on attracting your summer targets? I've answered that question quite a few times actually, that, you know, Man United and uh, 
our history and our ambitions and our uh, potential would always be uh, interesting for players. But of course, the better we do, the better results we get, the more uh, I think the players would also like to come. So Champions League next year would be fantastic. And we have put ourselves in a great position. Uh, when we came, me and Mick, and we, or when the change came three months ago, we were 11 points behind. Now we're we're in that position. So um, we've just got to go into the next seven games with the same attitude that we has we have done. We've got we went into the games nothing to lose. Let's go for it. See how where it takes us. And now when you when we've got into this position, doesn't mean or that means just keep carrying on. Don't change your approach on how to attack games. Yeah, sometimes you against. Wolves in the FA Cup, yeah, we got more of the ball and it's about us dominating. Sometimes it's you have to defend well, but it, intention has to be attack when we've got the ball. Is Pedro Lukaku fully recovered and Martial? Yeah, both will be uh, ready for tomorrow, definitely. So, uh, unless they break down in training today, but it, it looks good, yeah. Oh, is is Mick signed up yet, by the way? So, just McFeeling, is there anything uh, sorted with him yet? No, because uh, we had. You know, we had the Watford game, now the Wolves game. I think uh, Ed and Mick will hopefully get things sorted very soon. It's a key part of the of the of the club anyway in the setup.